During all the months at the three training schools, we had very little time for off-base vices. There were very few passes, but nobody griped. As long as you were still in the program, you were happy. We were all looking forward to the silver wings and the business of war, and that was enough. Part of our training in advanced involved night cross-country flights. We were using the AT-6 planes at that time, and these flights were usually made solo. Our airfield at Sacramento was inland from the Pacific, and because of the wartime activities along the coast, we always made them away from the ocean. Usually we flew south toward Bakersfield and Stockton, all sparsely settled semi-desert country in those days, and we could see very few lights along the ground. Few cars were moving on the highways and the towns, mostly small settlements, were not lighted up all night long the way they are today. I always looked forward to these flights as there was a special kind of easy on the mind feeling when I was up there alone for a few hours. The night air was always very smooth without a ripple since there were no heat thermals bumping the air as there was during the day. We were at war but these flights were peace on earth or rather peace above the earth, more profound than anything I had ever been able to imagine.